Hey friends, it's Travplane, and today I'm going to show you how to beat Rosalina and Luma in Super Smash Bros. Keep in mind that my guide won't cover everything, and in the end, usually the better player will win any matchup. But these tips and visual examples will improve your character knowledge, so you will know what to look out for. And make sure to stay to the end, because I'll show you a full match with an in-depth analysis on how to fight Rosalina and Luma. Now, if you, dear viewer, wish to join in the matchup discussions and participate in the polls, then click that subscribe button, go to my channel page, then click on community, and there you go. I love to hear your input. If you're about to fight Rosalina and Luma, you may want to pick a stage with fewer platforms for two reasons. First, as a slow faller, she struggles to land safely and can be juggled easily. And second, with her great juggling moves, platforms help her to KO you early. For counterpicks, characters that do well against Rosalina are usually aggressive sword characters like Krom, Cloud, and Lucina. Characters with a strong offensive game like Pikachu and Palutena do well too. Characters that struggle against her are projectile-based characters, especially Ness and Lucas, who can get completely shut down by her gravitational pull. Most players rank her as a high tier or mid tier. Now to help you consistently beat Rosalina and Luma, I'll show you what moves to respect and weaknesses to exploit. Let's get right into it. First thing to respect, Luma. He is the reason Rosalina is considered one of the most defensive characters in the game. He protects her while she's in danger, and he steps up to attack you while she stays back safe and sound. He typically hovers around Rosalina until she summons him to attack. He'll often be the one who gets hit from a projectile, taking one for the team. He dies after taking 40% damage or getting knocked off stage, and then a newly colored Luma responds after 10 seconds in a 1 vs 1 match. Rosalina can use Luma in a number of ways, one being her Luma Shot. She charges her Neutra Special and shoots Luma horizontally. You can hit Luma with a powerful attack, but it's risky timing. Shielding works, but look out for a follow-up attack. Luma doesn't stop at your shield, but goes as far as it's charged, so be prepared to be surrounded. Jumping over this attack is a great option too. After the Luma Shot, Luma stays apart from Rosalina and can attack you. This is especially dangerous with edge guarding and ledge trapping. When positioned right, it can be very hard to get past Luma and back on the stage. Here's a few tips. Try to grab onto the ledge quickly before Rosalina can get Luma set up to edge guard you. Use a projectile to knock Luma away from the ledge while you recover. A high recovery is dangerous because Rosalina can punish your landing. A low recovery is better, but it can get gimped. So you need to make sure you space yourself well as you grab onto the ledge. Once you've grabbed on, you got a big, quick decision to make. How to get up off the ledge safely. If Luma's attacking you up close, then your attack get up is best. If Luma's close but not attacking you, then don't do attack get up because it's a bait. Rosalina will come punish you after you hit Luma. It's better to jump get up in this situation. In most cases, jump get up is best and roll get up is the worst. But sometimes you gotta mix it up so she doesn't exploit your habits. Now another huge thing to respect about Luma is his ability to protect Rosalina when she looks vulnerable. When separated, Rosalina can summon Luma to return with the tap of a button, and during the return, Luma can attack, so you gotta watch out. Also, when you grab Rosalina, Luma can attack you, so do not pummel. I repeat, do not pummel her. Just throw her right away. And it's often better to use a throw that moves you away from Luma, like this. Then after the throw, be prepared to pull up your shield, so Luma doesn't hit you. If you throw Rosalina far, you can use this time to attack Luma and knock him off the stage. When Rosalina is landing, and you move in to attack her right when she's vulnerable, Luma can move around to stop you in your tracks. That is, unless you have a long, disjointed attack that can go through it. That's why sword characters often do well against Rosalina and Luma. They can damage both her and Luma in a single swipe, while most characters can't. Without Luma, Rosalina has some great moves of her own that you need to respect, especially her aerials. Her nair leads into combos and has little landing lag. Her fair has a huge hitbox, it's hard to avoid, it beats out a lot of attacks, and it carries you a long ways. Her back air is a good edge guarding move, and her up and down airs are basically halos of death. Most moves can't beat them, and they're hard to dodge, so that's why I'll give you this age old advice, don't get hit. Rosalina's dash attack is fast, it multi-hits, and it leads into combos. If you manage to shield it, the attack won't pass through the shield, so plan to punish her quickly on the side that she approached from. 
Rosalina's gravitational pull is what makes her the bane of every projectile-based character. It makes every projectile orbit her for a while. When in the orbit, the projectile now does damage to you, so that makes it hard to approach her. If the projectile is grabbable, then the item goes straight to her hand. As I mentioned earlier, this is especially effective against Ness and Lucas. She can pull away their PK Thunder, completely nullifying their recovery. But as a projectile-based main myself, I will say that it's a bad strategy to just never use your projectile. Now don't just sit there and shoot on the other side of the stage, that's a stalemate. You've got to approach without projectiles most of the time, and then sometimes bring them out. Your mix-ups will often catch Rosalina off guard. And for all you projectile characters, none of this even applies to you. Unless you're playing with items on. Now for all you players who like to play with items on and stuff, here's Rosalina's final smash. Grand Star. Truth be told, I think it's one of the weakest final smashes out there. If you've got the space to move away from that big yellow star, then you're totally safe. Before I get into the weaknesses, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want more content like this. I'd really appreciate it and it helps a ton. Now onto the weaknesses you can exploit. Rosalina's biggest weakness is when she's Luma-less. All of those benefits I mentioned earlier about Luma go down the drain when Luma disappears. Most of her attacks deal half as much damage, and all of her protection is gone. So your goal should be to get rid of Luma as fast as possible, and then lay on the damage and KO before Luma comes back. If your attack misses Rosalina and only hits Luma, then your efforts have not gone in vain. You're a step closer to dealing that 40% damage to KO Luma. When Rosalina and Luma are separated, it's a decent strategy to turn and attack Luma. Just make sure Rosalina isn't close enough to punish you. Like Mewtwo and Zelda, Rosalina suffers from poor endurance. Her tall frame and lightweight status make it hard for her to stay alive very long. One good hit around 90% and she's toast. Another weakness that comes with her tall frame and floaty fall is being easy to combo, and she doesn't have a quick enough move that can break the combos, especially if the combos move her away from Luma. So if you got the combos, then use them often on Rosalina. Another weakness is her recovery. To be fair, her ability to get back to the stage is fantastic, but her up special, Launch Star, doesn't deal any type of attack, so it's prone to getting spiked. So if you got the spike, and you got the right timing, then Meteor Smash her into the Blast Zone like so. Now with these tips in mind, let's see how they apply in this fight I had against Rosalina and Luma in Elite Smash. Alright, for this match I'm playing as Zelda, it's kind of the battle of the defensive princesses. Both Zelda and Rosalina have a lot in common, they both play very defensively, and I think it makes for a really fun matchup. So you'll see in this matchup why platforms are an advantage for Rosalina. She can use her up air and it goes right through the platform, it makes it really hard for me to land. That's why I recommend getting a stage without platforms. This up special right here was a mistake, and I get punished for it. It's a bad habit for a lot of Zeldas to use their up special onto the stage. They think they're tricking their opponent, but as you get into higher level smash, almost nobody falls for it. I don't want to stay up on these platforms. Rosalina has the advantage big time with her up air. My goal is to get down to the middle of the stage as soon as possible, but I gotta do it safely. Okay, so I see Rosalina using her gravity pull, and Zelda's Phantom Slash is a projectile. A big one at that, with a huge sword that can come back and hit me. At the last second, I recognize what she's doing, and I roll away to safety. But then I try to punish her real quick, Zelda's up special, but it misses. Worth a shot. Here I'm recognizing that she's constantly trying to juggle me, so I DI to the left, so I'm not above her. While I'm recovering, I'm watching Rosalina and Luma set up, and Luma's right at the stage, throwing out attacks. And so I delay my recovery a bit to make it harder for her to time her attack. Now that I grabbed onto the ledge, I can see that Luma's still attacking, so my best option here is to do an attack get up, and it works. Sometimes if your character has an attack with a windup like Zelda's forward tilt, it's a useful strategy to just repeat the attack. As you can see, this attack makes Zelda move just out of the way of Rosalina's up smash, and I get the upper hand on that encounter. Din's fire is Zelda's trump card in this matchup. It's not a projectile, so gravity pull doesn't stop it.
This is a good example of Rosalina and Luma's poor endurance. Zelda's back throw is really powerful, but this KO'd her way earlier than I was expecting. Wow, three up smashes in a row. This Rosalina really wants the KO. With that in mind, I can play defensively right here and punish her whenever she whiffs. Here comes the up smash. It's a whiff, so I punish. You would think that I wouldn't do the Phantom Slash again after it just got sucked into that gravity pool. But what's great about Zelda's Phantom Slash is that it has a delay. So Zelda can go and lay on the pressure, making it hard for Rosalina to use her gravity pool, like so. Uh, this was a mistake. I did not mean to land on the platform. She keeps trying to juggle me above the platforms, so my safest option is to approach from the sides. I'm slowly making my way into the center of the stage. That's where I'm going to get the advantage against her. Now that I've got her on the run, this is where I gotta keep on the pressure. I gotta keep her in a disadvantaged state. Alright, things are going well. Now that I got the lead, it's time to play defensively and rack up the damage from a distance. I'm on the ledge, I see Lumashot coming, I've got to decide how to get on the stage. Fortunately, Zelda has a special option for Roar's win. Alright, I'm back at center stage right where I want to be. This is one of Zelda's common tricks. The Phantom Slash will bait you into shielding, reflecting, or in this case, gravity pool with Rosalina, and Zelda can simply come up and grab you. The Phantom Slash is doing a great job of KOing Luma. Getting kicked by Zelda's lightning hills leaves you with a little bit of emotional trauma. I'm guessing that that's why this Rosalina simply gives up. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Also, check out my playlist of how to beat every character in Smash Ultimate. There's a lot of info there. And let me know which character you'd like me to do next. See ya!